A beast? What kind of beast? The ugliest beast you could imagine. Even worse than the Kalidas. Uh, don't worry, folks. If the wizard is a beast, when I go to see him, I shall roar my loudest. He'll be so frightened that he'll grant us all our wishes. But if he's the lovely lady, I shall spring upon her and so compel her to obey me. What if he's the great hairless head? Piece of cake! He'll be at my mercy, for I will roll his great head all about the room until he promises to give us what we desire. So be a good cheer, my friends, for all will yet be well. Your turn, lion. Oh, uh, you sure that bow is for me? No, maybe he wishes to see the Tin Man again, or, or the Scarecrow. No, maybe, maybe it wasn't a bell at all. I mean, sometimes people think that they hear a bell and it's only a ringing in their ears. You mustn't kick the wizard's waiting. We'll be right here, Lion. <laughs> Gosh, it's hot in here. Oh, no. Up on the throne, the wizard has caught fire. No, no. Wait a second. There's, there's nothing but fire. A huge ball of fire. Still, as long as I ke ke keep m m my distance. I am Oz, the great and terrible. Who are you? And why do you seek me? I am the cowardly lion, afraid of everything. I come to beg you to give me courage so that I will no longer run from danger and hide and shiver and burst into tears and generally disgrace. My name is the King of Beasts. Why should I give you courage? Uh, b -b 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 because of all wizards, you are the goodest, the mostest, the best. Bring me proof that the wicked witch is dead and I will give you courage. But as long as the witch lives, you must remain a coward. And now look here. Have you anything else to say? Uh, no, you're on the right. I mean, you wish it ship or if you prefer, I don't want to move it. A huge ball of fire? Yeah, that's what I saw. Somebody give me an aspirin. Poor old lion. What should we do now? There's only one thing we can do. Seek out the wicked witch and destroy her. But suppose we can't? Then our dreams will never be fulfilled. I shall never say anything intelligent. And I shall never send my lover Valentine. And I shall never look danger in the eye and laugh and spit and roar in triumph. And I shall never sit down to supper with my aunt and uncle again. This is what brainy people would call a first-rate dilemma. Oh. oh. <laughs> you can give up if you want to, but I've no choice. I must seek out this wicked witch, though heaven only knows how I'll destroy her. I'll go with you, Dorothy, even though I'm too much of a coward to kill a wicked witch. Me too. But I won't be much help to you. I am such a fool. I haven't the heart to harm anyone, not even an evil witch. But if you go, I shall certainly go with you. Excuse me, sir. My companions and I are ready to leave the Emerald City. In that case, you must unback your spectacles. Gladly. If you'll unlock the frames. <sighs> There you are. Now you're free to go. Which road leads to the Wicked Witch of the West? There's no road. Not even a footpath. No one is ever stupid enough to wish to go that way. How then are we to find her? That will be easy, for when she realises that you have invaded her territory, she will find you and make you all our slaves. Perhaps not, for we mean to destroy her. Oh, well, that's different. No one has ever destroyed her before. All the same, take care, for she is wicked and fierce. Hear what the man is saying? Wicked and fierce. Keep to the west where the sun sets, and you can't fail to find her. Or vice versa. <laughs> Everyone, the sooner we get this over with, the better. <laughs> <laughs>